Anyone that's watching this that might have been upset with my comments, please understand I'm not being disrespectful to this young lady. I just feel that Jared treated her the wrong way with the Uber outside. He bit her a little bit too hard. But I don't think he went in there and pinned her down, ripped into her like the animal they're saying he is, and sexually assaulted her. I just think she's upset that the way he treated her with the Uber outside, he was talking to her rudely after it. Basically, when he bit her, she pushed him off. He's got up, so sorry, rah, rah. He's bounced. She's dirty. They didn't have compassion over biting her so hard. I think that led to her stressing and stressing. I think if he would have just handled it better and told the Uber to go and took her to the doctor and treated her for being bit, because he admits he bit her, but he didn't like pin her down and bite her and sexually assault her like they're saying. So I reckon if he would have just had more compassion for her in the sense treated her better. And this is a, another thing for all the men out there. You need to treat women with more respect because I'm telling you, you got a mum, you got a sister. You might take a girl to dinner and then go back and have a one night stand of her and then treat her like a piece of shit after it. And then she gets emotionally scarred. She might not turn around and say you raped her, but she will, she's emotionally scarred. This, this young lady, I think, just took it to, to a point where she was so stressed out where she wanted revenge on him and put him in jail five years. That's what I believe. So if you are out there and you're going on a date, respect all women, stop treating them like a piece of ass, stop fucking them and booting them out, show some respect. And if there is anyone out there that suffered from being raped, reach out to me, I'll help you any way I can. Honest to God, if anything I can help you, I'm willing to help you. If you don't think I'm sitting here uh, talking shit about it and saying every girl out there's a liar, I do believe rapes happen. I just don't believe this one. I believe a lot of young ladies get raped by normal square heads. The guy in the business shirt and no tattoos, the deviant piece of shit, I do believe that. But I don't believe this latest scenario. That's just my opinion. And I'm not sticking up for Jared. I don't know the black and bar of soap. And trust me, I'm gonna tell you this. This video isn't gonna go out there and I'm gonna get a lot of fans out of this. A lot of people are gonna hate me after I say this, but I've got to say the truth. I don't believe this guy's a rapist. I believe he's religious in his religious beliefs and I believe he's on a different, he's just on a different path in life. I don't think he's the type of guy that would walk into a family house and rape a young lady. I wouldn't believe it, simple as that. And if I don't believe something, I'm gonna turn around and say, I don't believe it. I didn't care if the whole fucking Australia's gonna come out and say he's dirty Lebo, he's just a typical Lebo route, mate. I don't give a fuck. If I thought he was a rapist, I would say he's a rapist and rah rah, but I don't believe he is. That's my opinion. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't believe he's a rapist. I honest to God, just from my bottom of my heart, don't believe it. You know, and I don't know, I don't know the bloke, so I'm not sitting here defending him. He's, he's just a footy player. It's not like I'm gonna get anything out of defending this bloke, and he's the most hated person in Australia right now. I've just always lived my life. I don't follow the crowd. It's because the whole fucking world's calling this guy a rapist. I'm going to get up here and say, he's this and he's that. No, mate. I know what it feels like to go to jail for a crime you've never done. So I, I, I'm going to come on here and say, I feel sorry for this bloke. He's sitting in a cell right now, contemplating if he's going to end his life or not. Trust me. That's going through his mind right now. But we'll leave it at that. I'm sorry if I offended anyone. My intentions wasn't that. I had hundreds of people message me in my opinion because I know the prison system, what it's like, and people want to hear my opinion on things, and this is my opinion. So I'm going to wrap this up. I don't know how he's all going to view me after this, but whatever it is, you've got to speak your mind in life. If you don't speak your mind, you're never going to look in the mirror and respect yourself. If you're always going to live and worry about what the other person is gonna think of what you might be thinking. This is where you gotta like, draw the line in the sand. You can't just follow the crowd. If you see injustice going on, you need to speak up. And I reckon this guy got fucked over. But only time will tell. I love you all.